I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. A man is dead after an officer involved shooting in Westminster. This happened near Stanley Lake High School Sunday afternoon. Police say an officer was there to investigate a crash and tried to make contact with the suspect. They say that man ran away and they both exchanged gunfire. Now, the officer was not hurt, but the suspect is dead. Crews are working to put out the mine Miners Candle Fire near Idaho Springs. Right now it is estimated at 20 acres. More than 20 homes have been evacuated as a safety precaution. So far, it has destroyed two buildings. If you see a large police presence around CU Boulder Monday, it is just a drill. It's part of a regional training exercise hosted by the FBI, focusing on responding to large scale emergencies. So you may see dozens of police officers with weapons drawn. It's an exercise that will mostly be in the Williams Village area of campus. What a huge change just in the last 24 hours, a cold front making its way through the state. So tonight it will be very cold temperatures in the teens and then we drop to around 40 for an afternoon high on Monday. We also expect mountain snow, so driving may be an issue tomorrow afternoon up into the higher elevations. But as the kiddos are going to school, temperatures will be in the 20s early on and then only around 40 on the way back home. So you'll definitely need your jacket for your Monday. 45 degrees on Tuesday as we see some gradual clearing here, uh, but this next cold Cold front, three to six inches of snow for the mountains, just cold here for the metro area to start our week. It will be warmer as we get into Wednesday. Our temperatures in the upper 50s for the day, and then we'll have upper 50s on Thursday as well. So if you want to soak up some sunny, mild weather as it comes back here for the middle of the week, it'll be 52 degrees at the park at 10 a.m., 59 degrees into the later afternoon. But then we drop back down into the 30s, especially on Friday and Saturday. This is a bigger storm system coming into Colorado. We could see substantial snow into the mountains, especially for southwestern Colorado, and just a slight chance for snow here for the Denver area. All right. Thank you, Stacy. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Allen.